G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer. Welcome back to First Time Reef for TV. Today, we're gonna go check out an aquarium. So we're pretty blessed in Melbourne to have quite a few good aquariums, and I'm getting heaps of messages to come down and do a video shoot at Williamstown Aquarium. Now due to Williamstown Aquarium being on the western suburbs of Melbourne, I probably don't get to go down there as much as I'd like to. Um, but we'll head down there today, do a video shoot. They've got an epic display tank there, uh, which I wanted to give it time to make sure we can shoot it in all its glory. Um, and we'll check out the store. It's a pretty big store with heaps of fish, heaps of coral. Let's go check it out. So fragile Like it was built to break Off the handle How'd we get to this place? Before I head down to William Santa Cruz, I'm gonna drop into, uh, dropped in, I dropped in to Poke. Got myself a little Poke bowl so I can get some food and make sure I've got something to eat. Will everything we know be lost and changed for something new? Anyway, enough of me eating. I'll be holding you. On the right hand side you're gonna see a display tank which I'm not going to show you guys yet because we'll save that towards the end of the video uh, so this is William Santa Aquarium basically a, uh, a big warehouse site with um, heaps of corals down the center aisle here uh, marine on the left hand side fresh water on the right hand side um, but uh, every time I come to this aquarium, this is my favorite display because I'm a huge fan of acans and scollies, which you guys can probably tell because all I do is post videos or photos of my acans and scollies. Uh, but this tank is probably the most colorful for me. Um, some beautiful ricks in there as well. And I'm gonna say Williamstown is probably the king of ricks because I see the most amazingly beautiful ricks uh, in their store every time. And that's just what they have left in stock. I'm assuming a lot of the stuff that they get in, they probably sell straight away as well. Uh, so on this side, we've got acans, gonies, uh, trachophilia, some zoas along the front here, some blastos as well. Just absolutely gorgeous pieces. And uh, hands down my favorite tank. Got some clams out the front here. But if you have a look at their collection of scollies, there's some absolutely stunning pieces on there. Looks like a couple have been propagated as well because they're still uh, in the phase of uh, rounding out. But some absolutely stunning, stunting pieces. And you got at the top here, you got your SPS corals. Uh, you got a couple of Dallas frags over there on the right hand side. And then colonies of different acros. Um, some of them are absolutely gorgeous. This piece right here caught my attention before. 
uh, sort of got like the little green tips there and a little bit of glitter through it which is beautiful and you come along this side and it's just that is all full of that is all full of coral so you got some more um, scullies trackies disc corals big duncan out the back there some nice uh, acane frags out the front here as well and they were priced from about 30 40 50 dollars depending on the size of the frag and which frag it is some lobos here one with a really nice toxic bright green center there let me move down you got hammer corals pallies rhodactus uh, chalice corals favias cinularia xenia a huge array of corals available and I'm actually being told that the uh, they actually haven't got that much stock because they got cleaned out over the Christmas break um, and they're waiting for some fresh stock to arrive so I can't believe they've got this many pieces of coral here and they're saying that they actually don't have that many which is crazy uh, a beautiful Duncan out the back there nice and big if you had a big tank a nice maize coral your hammers frog spawns leather corals got one on the other side which i saw before which is absolutely gorgeous um just with a little tiny chiller to run this whole rack it's about the size of a little uh v-dub mini mini cooper sorry i should say got some rock there some live rock in here which has been uh, cured and ready to go so you have to come in and pick your pieces that you want Got a couple of birdies that have come in to say hello to the guys at the shop. Little baby at the back there. I'll show you. Got, got another video there. Looks like it's hungry. You're getting ready to eat, so we better go home and feed it. <laughs> so yeah. And the display at the back here. Obviously, they're in the middle of cleaning that tank there. Uh, you've got your inverts over here. So you've got your coral banded shrimp, uh, some red light cleaners, an absolutely stunning blood red cleaner. We're going to try and get this one on video. That's absolutely beautiful. That's probably my favorite shrimp. And one of the main things that actually allured me over to the marine uh, game was this blood red cleaner. Uh, they do cost a pretty penny because they are very difficult to come by. Uh, bright blood red with white spots on his head and uh, long white whiskers with white tips on its feet. I think they're about 200 odd bucks or so. Um, and then you got red line cleaners, which is what I've settled for because that's more within my price range. Um, and they're, I've been told they're a little bit more active, they don't hide as much, and their whiskers are really, really long and white. Um, so when they stand on top of a rock, you can actually see their whiskers quite, quite beautifully. So that's one of my uh, favorites in the tank at the moment. Uh, then you've got your coral bandage up here, which aren't as pretty. But you know, they're a little bit different. They got their big pincers out the front there, which are pretty cool. And if you walk around to this side, you got the other side of the live rock display there. And uh, a lot of elegance corals, cats, heliofungia, torches, hammers. Absolutely some stunning pieces. Nice big hammer here. Some huge, huge cats out the back there. Um, I saw these zoas before, which aren't for sale, unfortunately. I'll get the focus on them. They're absolutely beautiful. I don't know what they're called. Someone could probably tell me in my video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. That's absolutely stunning. Look at them. There's a few frags in there. I might try and see if I can uh, weasel my way to get walk home with one. Some morphs on this side. Uh, more goni, singularia, cats, all your soft corals on this side. Uh, some nice uh, bubble tip anemones there. Uh, I saw a super, super bright green leather coral. Which I'm probably, oops. I don't know what I did there. So the camera's not really picking up how 
green that actually is. It's super bright and I might have to walk home with that piece. I'll have to find out how much that is. Uh, and I've got one leather coral already, but I can get one in, in the tank, another one in the tank as well. Uh, so you can see their coral display is absolutely massive. Um, and and, and like, like I'm sure they can seriously stack these tanks full of corals as well. Like they said in December, <coughs> they're absolutely chock a block. A couple of nice A cans out the back there. And then on this side, just the other tank, the other side of that uh, SPS tank. Some beautiful bright green Dallas Acro frags there. Gorgeous, nice A can there, which I was eyeing off before. Some red gonies with uh, some crazy long extension on them. I've got a red gonny at home, I've got nowhere near that sort of extension on it. Super bright green, I think it's called an alligator eye or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. Now, like I said, this is my favorite tank and I'll keep coming back to it. Um, I think Ricks are gonna be my next favorite. Thing. Got plenty of products as well here. Uh, you got the Illy Magic Styles at the top there, some uh, Rossmont movers, some waivers, some Tunzi stuff. Um, also for the uh, budget conscious people, they've got the, uh, the J-Bow goods as well. Uh, plenty of Aquaforest stuff here. Which I uh, was speaking to the boys before, and they're actually uh, their display tank, they dose all on Aquaforest products, which um, is really handy for me because I'm looking at switching the chain, switching over to Aquaforest as well. So I'll find out what they dose on their tanks. You got Continuum, some of the uh, Vitalis food, uh, Red Sea, of course, Red Sea's uh, always around in every single store. Plenty of fish food, and heaps and heaps of products. For anyone that enjoys their plastic, fantastic. They don't discriminate. Um, you know, we all started out with this stuff in our early days. And I certainly did with little goldfish in a bowl and until I realized like filtration is pretty important for fish. But you know, we all start somewhere. Nets, lights, we've got Jake Teresi at the back there. We'll have a chat to him a little bit later. We'll walk through, oh firstly, like, just a little skimmer to run this system. It's obviously got a little bit of splatter, but that's okay. It just means that it's doing its job properly. And uh, the boys actually just said before as well that even though there's quite a significant amount of fish here, they're telling me that the tanks aren't as stocked as what they normally are. Especially during December, they said the tanks were absolutely jam packed. This is a pretty cool tank with a bunch of uh, clowns in there. A couple of banner fish. Beautiful. We can get them to come in like that. I might try and get them to feed them a bit later if we're allowed to feed them. Um, some nice purple tangs. Heaps of fish. Dog, dog face puffer fish, I think they're called. We've got a clown trigger over here. A nice angel of some sort. What name? What's the name of this angel? French. French angel. <laughs> We'll go out the back here. That was horrible. We'll go out the back here. I think it's some nice Sohal tangs, I think they're called. Uh, pajama cardinals. Like heaps of fish. And I can't believe that they're telling me that they're actually not that stuck. Nice trigger fish out the back there. He's pretty cool. Uh, not reef safe though, I don't believe. A goat fish of some sort. And we'll walk around. So heaps of heaps of fish, man. Some of them really exciting. Some of them obviously just bread and butter, like clowns are bread and butter. Uh, these these goat fish is looking pretty cool. Uh, that's a majestic angel, I believe, or an angel of some sort. But it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get a bigger tank so I can start stocking some of those angels and some of the beautiful fish. Uh, heaps of clowns here. So he's got a heap of variety of different clowns. Um, this is just what they've got left in stock at the moment. But out of all the stores that I've been to, I've noticed that Williamstown probably has the, the biggest variety of different clownfish, especially designer clownfish as well. So you've got here a Snow Onyx uh, Percular Pair. 
in there as well. Um, and there's a few clowns over on the other side that I missed as well. Pretty cool pair here as well. They're gorgeous. Get them some focus on them. They're too fast. So they're beautiful. You keep walking through. So heaps of, heaps of fish. You know, this whole section here, stacked full of fish. And uh, when the tanks are full, you can imagine how many fish they could actually house. I reckon this is probably one of the biggest marine displays for fish I've seen <coughs> in Melbourne with the amount of actual uh, tanks for fish. Really cool, funky fish there. So that's their marine section. Uh, we'll walk over to this side and there's their freshwater section. Bit of but you know, we uh, some of us still have freshwater tanks. I don't anymore, just due to the fact that I can't fit any more tanks in the house. Uh, but maybe if I get a bigger house, I'll probably get a little community f freshwater tank. Because um, that's where I did actually start. I didn't go straight into marine. Uh, some beautiful goldfish. I'd love a koi pond if I could get one. Honey, if you're listening, I'd love a koi pond. Uh, Oscars. You know, we've all had Oscars. Yeah, freshwater's still pretty cool. Uh, plants as well over in the back corner here. Siamese fighting fish. They've got a huge display here of Siamese fighters. And good to see a fighting fish display with actual water running through the tank. Um, which is much nicer, gives them flow. They don't just sit in a jar of water with uh, nothing else in there. Nice big fighter there. And obviously all your, uh, all your aqua soil, all your uh, gravel, plants, everything you need, heaps of stuff. You know, walk around the front. Now I'm going to show you my favorite tank. This is probably one of the, my, my, my absolute favorite display tank that uh, I've come across. And uh, he had a problem with the tank a little while ago. I'm just going to face you this way so you don't see it. He had a problem with this tank a little while ago, I think, uh, where the tank started to leak. And uh, now he's replaced the tank. He's got it set up properly. Some amazing lights on it, which we'll uh, talk to the boys about later. But uh, this is the display tank, a huge, what looks to be like maybe a 12 foot tank, I would assume. Uh, 12 foot by three foot by three foot, I think, or two and a half by two and a half. Uh, stacked full of coral, grown under the Illy Magic styles. Everyone's uh, seen those before. Um, and you can see there's two, four, six, eight styles up there. to penetrate this depth and the coverage is really nice so if you have a look some beautiful plating corals there actually I'm gonna stop this video I'm gonna get this the front of this glass cleaned and they'll come back all right so we're back Jake's given the tank a really good scrub glass is nice and clean now so we go for a walk around uh, some beautiful Acropora sticking out the top there a gorgeous bubble tip and enemy over this side um, the camera's just really not picking up the colors on it, which is sad, but that's actually beautiful. There's another beautiful piece on the other side as well. Huge Duncans. And then Rick's, like I said, Williamstown is the Rick King. Yeah, look at that. It's just the camera. I wish I had filters for my lens because it's not picking up how bright the corals actually are. Now, uh, here's the Acropora at the top there. This one here is like glowing, glowing bright green. That one there. Uh, heaps of Acan frags, some Gonies. I couldn't imagine how much it would cost to stock this tank. Uh, a gorgeous Scully garden. A uh, nice bright orange scully there with some uh, green lines through it. And heaps and heaps of scullies and trackies here.
and then uh, gold, gold stem torch, red goni, an insane Rick Garden, like absolutely insane. Like if you guys are in Melbourne, you need to come down and see this tank for yourself if you haven't already. Like it's 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 it's, it's an insane tank, and the corals are so healthy, super bright, and I know the camera's not picking it up as much as it should be. Uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous toxic green helio uh, fungi here. It's like bright green with like pink purple tips on the end of it. Cool, pretty uh, chalice coral there. Some zoas for good measure. Uh, orange hammer. Normal hammers. I'm like, just look at the tank. It's going to have a little bit of crap floating around because the glass has just been cleaned. Like I said, all this whole tank system. Run with the eight Illy Magic styles. Absolutely gorgeous, man. The sump underneath here is really, really simple. Bunch of filter socks, a skimmer, a refugium, and what looks like an ATO, I think. Chiller down the end there. Uh, this tank is run completely on Aquaforest, um, so they use the component one, two, three um, for all of their dosing. So this is uh, what I'm going to be changing over to soon as well. Absolutely stunning tank. I wish I had this in my lounge room. Everyone dreams of a massive tank. We'll go this way. Hopefully the glare is not as bad. Absolutely stunning. So that's it guys, that's a tour of Williamstown Aquarium. Um, hope you enjoyed the tour. If you haven't been down to this aquarium yet, you have to get down here, check out their display tank, check out their fish, which what I showed you is only 25% full uh, of the normal capacity. Um, plenty of corals, uh, plenty of products, a really good aquarium, the guys down here are great as well. Hope the next time we pop in, Jack will be here to say hi to us and give us a big explanation about the tank. I'm told that uh, no one's allowed to do that except him because that's his baby. But uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Until next time, peace.